Excellent. You're ready to start editing your live answer set. Let's take just a few minutes now so I can show you around so that you can start customizing your own live answer set buttons. Across the top here, you'll see the name of the live answer set. You'll also see if it's active or not. If you make changes to either of those, make sure you save it after you make the change. Down below, you'll see the dialer preview, which will give you a preview of all the buttons that currently make up this particular live answer set. So here you can see the five buttons that currently make up this live answer set. And then down below, you'll see each of those listed out and a summary of what those buttons do. Now that's not everything that those buttons are configured to do, but just kind of an overview of what each of those buttons are configured to do. Now if you want to edit any one of these buttons, you can either click on the buttons themselves, or you can click on the links for the buttons, or you can click on the little button over here that says edit this button. Any one of these options will take you to the button editor for that specific button. So let's say we wanted to edit our once a trial button. We can click on this and that will bring us to the button editor for this specific button. The button text is what is visually written on the button. That's what we'll see on the button as we're making calls and using this particular disposition set. The status is really important because this is what we use for searching, sorting, and running reports as admins. The note adds an automatic note to the contact record. Now in the case of a live answer, we'd probably be adding custom notes as well. This way we can make sure that there's always a common note added every time this button is clicked. We can also assign a specific email to go out whenever this disposition is clicked. You can configure the button to transfer the record to another user within your team. You can move the record to another folder within your account or within the team member's account. You can add or remove tags to the contact record based off the disposition. Next action, this only matters if your contact has multiple phone numbers. Now if your contact has multiple phone numbers, you can tell the system to either move on to the next contact in this particular case, or call the next number within the contact record when this disposition is clicked. Or if you're not sure which direction you want to go, you can set up the disposition to ask you. So PhoneBurner will ask you what you want to do, either call the next number or call the next contact, and then you can choose on the fly. DNC, this option allows you to either DNC the entire record, DNC the phone number, or in the case of most buttons, you'll probably set the DNC to no because you don't want to add everybody to your DNC list, right? Then we've got the delete contact option. You can set up a disposition to delete the contact if you want. In most cases, you're probably not going to be using the delete contact option. Now that option is available to be assigned to any disposition that you may want to add it to. And then the final option is the connected call option. When you disposition the call, that call can either be flagged as connected or not connected. In this particular case, we'd probably want to flag this one as connected. In most cases, when you're dealing with a live answer set, you'll probably set them all to connected. However, there are times when maybe you get a gatekeeper that you may not want to flag that one as a connected call. So keep that in mind when you're configuring their buttons. It all depends on how you're going to use that button on whether or not that button will be configured as a connected call or not. Now once you've made all of your updates, you go ahead and hit the Save button. That'll save the disposition. And you'll see the summary of the changes listed here if whatever changes you made are part of the summary. You can also add additional buttons. You can add as many buttons as you'd like. You just go through and configure the button with all of the settings that you want. Make sure that when you're creating new buttons that you're always adding a status. If you don't use the status, it makes it really hard to search, sort, and run reports on those dispositions. And then finally, I did want to point out that you can also rearrange your buttons by just dragging and dropping the disposition to a new location. Once you drop it in a new location, make sure you hit the refresh button and your dialer preview will update showing you where that button will show up in the dial session itself. That's it. That's how easy it is to configure the buttons within your live answer set. I hope this helps you become more efficient, more effective, and just plain get more done using PhoneBurner. I wish you the best and happy dialing.